What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Brandon Blakeney, a.k.a. Brandon Lee TV. Kick back, relax, and come take a ride with me. Y'all, this Liz Cambridge situation continues to get weirder and weirder as the hour passes, man. The interview she had with Taylor Rooks, obviously, it's going viral right now. Different fortunes are being picked apart on Twitter currently. But she's got players that are coming out and blatantly saying that she is up there blatantly lying to folks in this interview with Taylor Brooks. Let's get into it. You are now locked into the Live with Brandon Blakeney podcast. Here is your host, Brandon Blakeney. So in my last video, we dissected a little bit into the situation with Cambridge as well as her and the Australian national team and the confrontation and scuffle with the Nigerian national team. And she went on and said this about the situation. Obviously, there were reports of a physical and verbal altercation between your Australian team and the Nigerian team. And a report says that you called the players monkeys and told them to go back to their third world country. You have vehemently denied these reports. Yes. But there is also a group of people that say that you did say these things. Why are these stories so drastically different? A lot of girls don't like me. I don't really lean towards racially backed insults. That's not how I go. I'm very pro-black. So I'm you very... maintain that you did not say I did not say these to these guys. Why would something as bad as this happen? Because the truth looks a lot worse for other organizations involved than using me as a scapegoat. Like, why does Nigeria want me to leave Australia and go represent them? You're saying right now? We're filing for me to leave the Australian team so I can represent Nigeria. Because Nigeria would like you to join the team? I've been in cahoots. I've been talking with them since all of this happened. This is what I mean. People don't know the truth. After Bleacher Report posted that clip, a member of the Nigerian national team, Promise Amukamara, came out and started firing off tweets. This one was the first where she said, I'm sorry, but this is false, lol. Then she got a little thread going on right here. She says, speaking on Cambridge, she called us monkeys and told us to go back to our country. Yes, she said that. Then she tweets, literally everyone from both teams have the same story capitalized, but her. So y'all do the math. Then she finishes it off with, and the only person she has been in cahoots with was the former coach of our national team, and he's no longer the coach. So there's that. Woo! She had time today. Did y'all feel that? The, it's some tension. Did y'all feel the tension through those letters, through those, that 140 character limit? Because, man, you could cut it with a knife. That was crazy. But that's not the only player to come out. She was also asked about her time in the WNBA and most recently why she left the Sparks in the middle of the season last year. The last time we saw you playing in the WNBA mm -hmm. was July of last year with the mm -hmm. Sparks. Can you walk me through that day? I was warming up for the game. I remember being on court and just like a few disrespectful teammates yelling at me because they don't know how to throw a lob pass to me in the post. I'm just like... You're saying Sparks teammates. Yeah. Too. I'm just like, I'm really dealing with like girls just yelling at me because they're frustrated without how they don't know how to throw the ball to me. Our coaching staff doesn't want to teach them like how to use a post player like me. I remember running down the court and a girl that was like really frustrated me in Vegas while I was there, like stepped in front of me and took a charge as I'm like running down. I was like, okay, this is just another straw on the camel's back. And then I was like another play and this teammate of mine came up and was just like yelling at me again. I get subbed off. I sit on the bench. I sit down next to Shanae. I'm like, I'm done. Like, this is it. I'm done. Mind you, like, we've had, like, a lot of issues throughout this season. Like, coach got fired, GM got fired, a lot of players in and out, a lot of players injured and sick. I'm just like, I'm done. I have nothing to give anymore. There's just too much going on in this situation. And Sparks current guard and her former teammate, Jordan Canada, came out and said Cambridge was lying about that as well. This situation just keeps getting weirder and weirder. I mean, could you imagine? If she got on the national stage with one of the biggest reporters in hoops, 
and just blatantly started lying. I mean, if everybody's saying the same thing, typically in my experience, there's some truth to it. But hey, I wasn't there, so I don't know. But there's like conflicting stories. Like they're the complete opposite. And I feel like Cambridge didn't really take responsibility for anything that happened that people have described in her journey, like any of the incidents that have went down. She didn't take responsibility or really acknowledge her side of her part in things at all. And that was a little bit alarming. So I don't know who like who do y'all believe? Y'all let me know in the comments, cause it's just a lot of craziness going on. But it's multiple players coming out and calling Cap. Canada even said she would do an interview. He came out and said, I usually keep to myself and mind my business. But Bleacher Report, if y'all want the real truth, capitalized real truth, call me. If you know, you know. And then she put the long nose on there like the Pinocchio nose. All in cap. I don't know, man. It's a weird situation. It's the, the more time that passes by and the more of that interview that you watch and then you see the reactions, the weirder this whole thing is. So I don't know, man. I, I just, I'm going to leave it up to y'all to decide. I'm here as just the messenger. Let me know what y'all think in the comments, man, because this is bizarre. I mean, this is like psychotic behavior. I don't know. It's really weird. Like, I don't know. It just seems like, hey, if everybody's saying the same thing, I'm just saying. Anyways, how about you wait in the comments? Make sure you hit that subscribe button for all the latest and the greatest. I am your host, Brandon Blakey, a.k.a. Brandon Lee TV. This is live with Brandon Blakey. Until next time, man, we out.